Hello everyone, my name is Kodamore, and welcome to episode 19 of Creating a Space Shooter with Godot. Today, we're going to do something nice and simple. First, you can see that my player appears behind the meteors, and also, if I destroy a meteor, the meteor particles appear above my ship. Now, this is fine if you like that, but I want my player's ship to be above pretty much everything except for the heads-up display. Except you'll notice that our player is actually on top of our heads-up display. Now, remember that things are drawn in the scene tree in the order that we have them. So our background is drawn first, then the heads-up display, then the player. That's why the player appears on top of the background and on top of our heads-up display, which we don't want. But there's another way that we can order things without them being, you know, ordered in the scene tree over here. If we click on the background node here in our gameplay, we have this Z index property. Z index is just the order in which to draw things. It's a completely arbitrary number, and it's relative to every other Z index that you have in your game. A lower Z index means it'll be drawn first, whereas a higher Z index will mean it'll be drawn after. So if we take our background node, we want it to be the first thing drawn no matter what. So we'll go ahead and we'll set its Z index to something like negative 100, really low. Now you'll notice that the default Z index for everything, like our player, is zero. So since we just set the background Z index to negative 100, if we now move the background to the bottom of the scene, it's still below everything else because it has a lower Z index and everything. So now the order in the tree doesn't really matter for our background because it has a low Z index. Now with our player, if we go into the player scene, we can change its Z index to something higher because we want it to be drawn on top of everything in our game. Something like positive 100 here. So now, no matter where our player is, even if our player comes before the background, it'll be on top of the background. So, if we run the game and we shoot the meteor, first of all we'll notice that we go on top of the meteor this time, and we also go on top of the meteor particles, because all those things we didn't change their z-index and they defaulted to zero. Now the only issue we have is our player going on top of the heads-up display still. If we go to our heads-up display, you'll notice that it does not have a z-index property, and that's because it's not a node 2D node. So the workaround for this is to add something called a canvas layer. So on our gameplay node, we will add something called a canvas layer, and we will simply drag our heads-up display into the canvas layer. You'll notice that canvas layer has this layer property, and this is basically, and this is basically the order in which the canvas layers should be drawn. It's pretty much like z-index, except it's kind of on a much lower level. So a layer of 1 will make this canvas layer be drawn on top of every other node 2D we have in our game. And since our HUD is now a child of canvas layer, it will be drawn on top of everything. So our player still goes on top of the meteor, still goes on top of all the particles, and it is now underneath our heads-up display, as everything else in our game will be. So that is Z indexes for you. Basically, we made our background a really low Z index, so it's always drawn first. We made our player a really high Z index, so it's always drawn last. Everything else defaults to zero, so they'll just kind of be drawn in between, but below the player always, and above the background. And our heads-up display will be drawn on top of everything in the game because we added a new canvas layer, which is drawn on top of every other node 2D in the game. And I just realized after recording this episode, I made a mistake. Our lives no longer appear at the top of the screen. Remember, that's because our HUD has to be listening for this life changed signal before our player is actually ready. So we can just take this canvas layer with our HUD, drag it before the player, because this ordering still matters. The order of these still determines the order of the ready methods, the ready functions, how they're going to be called. So if we have our HUD before the player now, our game should still work as it was with our lives appearing at the start of the game. Alright, that's all everyone. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode.